So today I'm gonna share with you guys how to like come up with different rotoscoping effects for your Instagram reels to just really separate you from all of your competitors, whether that being you're an editor and you're just trying to stand out or you're a content creator just trying to like make your own wave in the scene, then this video is gonna be perfect for you. But before we go ahead and get started, I want you guys to know that my name is Chris Biasad. I run the Takeover Editing Shop, where so editing assets and presets for content creators just like you to get faster and better at editing. Without it, let's go ahead and get straight into Adobe Premiere Pro. The first effect I'm gonna show you guys kind of what it looks like right now with like all the layers and stuff so before we quit let me tell you something i wish i knew before i so it looks really really clean and it's very easy to do actually so let's go ahead and just see how it looks like without before the uh quit, the key effects it still looks decent i wish i knew before I honestly that's like not bad but to make it like just a little bit more saucy you guys want to duplicate this layer and then you guys want to rotoscope this out if you guys don't know how to rotoscope go ahead watch this tutorial in the top right corner it's by my buddy brian delamata um he goes over how to do it inside of after effects or you can go do it on cap cut for free or you can do it the way that i do it which is using the keeper plugin dragging and dropping it onto my video and then it automatically keys out my subject for me so literally easy as that now i'm not affiliated with them i wish i was so if you guys are watching this video please please sponsor your boy because I want people to use your plugin because it's actually so amazing. But anyways, that's how you guys get the rotoscope effect. But how do you get it to where it's like the text is behind it? The way you do that is you just simply make sure the text layers like these two are behind or below your actual key layer, right? So your key is stacked on top, your text, text, then your background layer. It's essentially how you do it super, super easy. So that's how you do the first sort of rotoscoping effect. I use it all the time in my videos as I think it looks very, very clean. And because the text is behind you, if you actually add like a blur effect to it, then it just kind of makes it look like there's actual real depth going on. It's like there's camera lens blur going on. So that's a little bit of an extra tip right there. Now onto our second use of the rotoscoping effect for like the lifestyle type of content. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like without the uh, rotoscope, just so you guys can see what, what's, what's going on so not bad honestly usable you know just super simple but let's say you want to add in that extra bit of spice you go ahead and rotoscope your subject and then you can do something like that and this is like a whip um, subject transition type effect um, it looks really really good but I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so you want to go to your clip that you want to go ahead and rotoscope or like your subject and then you want to drag the footage back over so that way like it overlays onto the clip behind it and then i'm just going to go ahead and cut it at the cut point just like that and then we're going to select it again go ahead do your rotoscoping um this is not a rotoscoping tutorial it's just how to use rotoscopes so i'm honestly just going to go ahead and do maybe subject yeah we'll do subject that looks good and then we're going to go over here to transform I'm personally going to go to my takeover editing pack because I don't want to have to do the motion blur myself. Um, this is actually one of my most used presets inside of my editing pack because like adding in this extra step and just like changing it to 360 is just super annoying. And honestly, it helps me from having to navigate to other effects because everything else is in here. So I don't have to leave this pack, which is pretty good. Anyway, so now that we got that effect on there, transform. Now we're actually going to transform it crazy right you want to keyframe the position like to where it like normally is all the way at the end keyframe and then you want to go ahead and just move this wherever you want so you can have it dragging in dragging out or you can have it coming in from the bottom coming in from the top or coming in from the left or the right i'm just personally going to do the right now typically you'd be using the x but because my footage is a little bit different i got to use this uh, y position to affect the x it just i didn't nest the clip essentially so that's why so let's go ahead and play through what it looks like right now Okay, so that does not look good. And the reason why is, let's see it. So we want this to be actually a little bit more further out. So that way it's fully like not in frame. And then I'm just gonna drag, select both of these, temporal interpolation, and just make this a lot smoother with Bezier, Bezier just like that. And then I'm gonna do just like a little bit of like a thing like that. And we'll see how that looks. There we go. And banger, you guys have like a whip rotoscoping effect, transition, whatever you want to call it. And then, yeah. So that is my two most favorite ways to use rotoscoping inside of Adobe Premiere Pro for your short form content. If you guys learned something in this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. And if you used anything in this tutorial to make your own reel, please either tag me or DM me the video saying you learned from me, I guess. And uh, I'll be sure to show you some love. Anyways, remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.